Hi everyone, we are still on the unit of stoichiometry, which deals with quantities in chemical formulas and equations. So for this video, we will be explaining how compounds can be characterized through their percent composition by mass and calculate the com uh, percent composition by mass of a compound given its chemical formula. Okay. So when you say percent composition by mass, this tells us how much of a particular element is present in a compound. Okay, so it's the ratio between the mass of each element per 100 mass unit of a compound. Or if you have it in um, equation 4, then percent composition is equal to the total mass of the component element divided by the mass of the compound times 100. Okay, so uh, you will be given, for example, an ACL. So how much of the compound, how many percent of the compound is sodium and how many percent by mass of the compound is chlorine, right? So here is uh, another definition or some other definitions for percent uh, composition, okay? So again, it's a ratio of the mass of an element present in a 100 gram sample of a compound and the expression of the, of the portion of the total mass contributed by each element. So more or less the same uh, equations are present. So you can either have the total mass of element over the total mass of sample times 100 or the total mass of the element. So this one is in terms of the molar mass already and the mass of one mole of compound. Okay, so for example, what is the percent copper in an 8.33 gram sample of calcopyrite, which is given by the formula CuFeS2 that contains 2.88 grams of copper? So how are we going to tackle this? So we are now given the amount of copper present in the sample and the total mass of the sample, which is 8.33 grams. So what we are going to do is just... In finding the percent copper, uh, we place the amount of copper as our numerator and the uh, amount of in grams of the whole sample. So that's 2.88 grams of copper divided by 8.33 grams of sample, CUFES2. Then times 100, we get 34.6% copper. All right? So... Here are a few other examples in finding the percent composition of uh, compounds. So uh, we can also have the following equation, n times the molar mass of the element divided by the molar mass of compound, which was shown a while ago. So n times the molar mass of the element just represents the total mass that a particular element or component of the compound uh, contributes to the mass of the whole uh, compound. All right, so we will be using the examples we've had in the molar mass because the molar mass will be very much needed in finding the percent composition. So, for example, if you are asked to solve for the percent composition by mass of the following compounds, then that means we are going to get how many percent for number one, how many percent of iron is there, and then how many percent of sulfur is there? And how many percent of uh, oxygen is there? So what we are going to do is just very simple. We are going to use or have the, con the contributing masses for each element. So for example, in, in iron, we know that there is only one, okay? This is our n. There's only one atom for iron. And then we multiply it with the mass of iron. That's 55.85. Right? Now, we can either use the grams per mole or the AMU, okay? or the atomic mass units or the mu. So uh, just use whatever you're comfortable with. And then this is our component for iron now. Then we divide it with the total mass to the total molar mass of the compound. So this is 151.92 grams per mole. All right. Then note, notice how we can cancel uh, grams per mole, cancel grams per mole. Therefore, 
our answer for the percent iron present in that compound will be 55.85 divided by 151.92. So we end up with a. Uh, by the way, we have to multiply this by 100. So this is times 100. So uh, we end up with 0 0.367, but then times 100, that is 36.76. Percent of iron, right? And for the next element, uh, we have sulfur. So there's only one atom of sulfur, and we know that the molar mass of sulfur is 32.07 grams per mole. So we divide it with the total molar mass, which is 151.92 grams per mole and then times 100, all right? So that's 32.07 divided by 151.92 times 100, then we end up with 21.09% of sulfur. Right? Now for oxygen, okay, this time we know that there are four oxygen atoms, so we include that in our uh, computation. That's four okay, times the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16.0 grams per mole. And then again, we divide it with the molar mass of the whole compound. That's 151.92 grams per mole and times 100 all right so that means we'll have 4 times 16 divided by 151.92 then times 100 so we'll end up with 42.13 percent of oxygen so if you are going to analyze uh, the data that we have, the atom that contributes the most to the mass of the whole compound is oxygen. Okay, Number one, because of its actual mass, actual atomic mass, plus combined with the number of oxygen atoms there are. All right, But it can also happen that you have one atom only, but yet it has the greatest mass. So it is the the element that contributes the most mass in that particular compound. Okay, now sir, how do we know if our answer is correct? Just a check, okay? We need to, if we want to know whether our answer makes sense, we need to add everything and make sure that it's close to 100%. So that means 36.76 plus 21.09 plus 42.13 so we end up with 99.98, which is practically almost equal to 100, right? So we have the following percent composition by mass for iron to sulfate, right? It can also happen that uh, we are asked to get the percent composition or percent composition in terms now of a particular group of atoms. Let's say, for example, find the percent SO4, okay? Find the percent SO4 in ammonium sulfate, all right? So when you have SO4 now, we are going to talk about this group, the SO4 group, okay? So there is only one sulfate, uh, there is only one sulfate uh, group in ammonium sulfate, and then we, we just have to get the molar mass for the sulfate ion all right so we know that the sulfate ion is made up of one mole or one gram per mole for sulfur so oh one one sulfur atom rather so this is 32.04 grams per mole this is for sulfur and we add uh, oxygen that's 4 times 16 
right? So this is SO4 and then 0 0.0. Then we divide everything, so we treat this as if it were uh, one group, all right? This is one whole group, okay? So this is one three, the total molar mass if is 132.14 grams per mole, all right? So what happens here is we get to do the equation first. By the way, this is not included. Right? So that's 32.04 plus 4 times 16 divided by 132.14 grams per mole. So we have 0 0.72. Then do not forget to multiply it by 100 to denote the percentage. So this is 72.68, then percent SO4, right? So that means in a sample of, in one mole of uh, ammonium sulfate, it's it in terms of percentage by mass then it has 72.68 a percent sulfate group sulfate ion okay and take note that electrons do not contribute to the mass of the of the whole compound because electrons are practically uh, negligible in terms of mass right uh, another example what if we want to get the uh, percent oxygen in the glucose molecule so just have this just a one element for glucose then that means we have six atoms of oxygen times 16 grams per mole so if you've noticed the solution that we have in the molar mass practically is used in uh, getting the percentage composition. So it's just this term divided by this term the denom as our denominator. So this is 180.18 grams per mole. Then divide or cancel the units and then multiply by 100. All right, so this is uh, 6 times 16 divided by 180.18 times 100. So you have 53.28% oxygen. And the rest of the elements can be obtained by the same... Uh, the same reasoning okay or the same steps now let's go to our pentahydrate the example for our hydrate so this is copper sulfate pentahydrate I'm going to ask you now how much okay how much of or what is the mass percentage of water for that particular hydrate so percent H2O right so again we just have to get the total in the previous example we have this we get we got the total already this is 90.1 mu all right so nine this is 90.1 grams per mole of water divided by the total molar mass which is 24 uh, 249.69 grams per mole of water all right so again we have this component the h component being used as our numerator then times 100 so we end up with 90.1 divided by 249.69 times 100 
So you have 30.08% of water. Okay, that means for every 100 gram of that sample of copper sulfate pentahydrate, then 30.08 uh, 30 grams is water, right? So this is percentage composition. That's how we get percentage composition. Uh, we, we divide the, con the mass contributed by a particular element or a group of atoms for this matter, divide it with the total mass or the total molar mass of the whole compound. Alright, so that is percentage composition by mass.